A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Stephen said to the people, the elders and scribes, You stiff-necked people, uncircumcised in heart and ears, you always oppose the Holy Spirit. You are just like your ancestors. Which of the prophets did your ancestors not persecute? They put to death those who foretold the coming of the righteous one, whose betrayers and murderers you have now become. You received the law as transmitted by angels, but you did not observe it. When they heard this, they were infuriated, and they ground their teeth at him. But Stephen, filled with the Holy Spirit, looked up intently to heaven and saw the glory of God and Jesus standing at the right hand of God. And Stephen said, Behold, I see the heavens open, and the Son of Man standing at the right hand of God. But they cried out in a loud voice, covered their ears, and rushed upon him together. They threw him out of the city and began to stone him. The witnesses laid down their cloaks at the feet of a young man named Saul. As they were stoning Stephen, he called out, Lord Jesus, Receive my spirit. Then he fell to his knees and cried out in a loud voice, Lord, do not hold the sin against them. And when he said this, he fell asleep. Now Saul was consenting to his execution. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. And your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I command my spirit. Be my rock of refuge, a stronghold to give me safety. You are my rock and my fortress. For your name's sake, you will lead and guide me. Into your hands, O Lord, I command my spirit. Into your hands, I command my spirit. You will redeem me, O Lord, O faithful God. My trust is in the Lord. I will rejoice and be glad of your mercy. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Let your face shine upon your servant. Save me in your kindness. You hide them in the shelter of your presence from the plotties of men. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit.
those who had died. May God, who is mercy, show shower his mercy upon them in a special way. We remember William Duggan Tammy Tanisito and Lucia Mane. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord. And Father, we thank you for your love for us, your sons and daughters. We offer these prayers in all of your intentions through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Mm -hmm. And blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, who through your goodness began this grant you love, which earth has given in human hands and day, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, who through your goodness we have this wine to love, the fruit of the vine, the work of human hands. It will become for us our spiritual dream. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God and my Father. Receive, O Lord, we pray, these offerings of your exalted church, and as you have given her cause for such great gladness, grant also that the gifts we bring may bear fruit in perpetual happiness through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. And let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere at all times to proclaim you, O Lord. But in this time, above all, to be allowed to get more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. He never ceases to offer himself for us, but defends us and ever pleads our cause before you. He is a sacrificial victim who dies no more. The Lamb once slain who lives forever. Therefore, overcome the past with joy. Every Lamb Every people exalts in your prayers, and even the heavenly powers, the angelic hosts, sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they claim. Holy, 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 you are indeed holy, O Lord, the Father of all things. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and gave me thanks and broke it. And gave it to his disciples, saying, Take it, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, the supper was entered into the chalice, and once more giving thanks, 
He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, save us, save your Lord, and by your cross and your resurrection, you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you help us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that by taking the body and blood of Christ, that we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Now the Lord and Church spread about the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, plays our bishop and his auxiliary bishops and all the clergy and all your faithful people. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. In all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all we pray. And with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, your spouse. With the blessed apostles, say, Gather the knowledge of and may all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, may we never to be co heirs to eternal life, and praise and glorify you through your Son, and Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. And at the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation. Deliver us, Lord, we pray for them evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope of coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. The Lord Jesus Christ, who said to the apostles, Peace I give you, my peace I give you, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your truth. And graciously grant the peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And let us offer each other a sign of God's peace.
and that is spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and met myself, holy to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. And a prayer to St. Joseph. St. Joseph, watch over me and care for us, just as you care for the child Jesus by your help. May we come to know your Son, and so grow in strength and wisdom in the favor of God. Amen. As I was uh, walking over to church this morning, there was one brave soul who took their bike to school today. God bless whoever that person is. And we do uh, have a 10 o'clock funeral on Thursday. For, uh, for Larry and her national uh, sister Anne, yeah, to remind you about that. And I, re I have received a communication, a text message uh, re regarding Kathy and her work. And I asked Sarah if I could read it at Mass. And uh, she says, by all means, she takes all the prayers that she can get. So I'm going to find it here. And she is uh, uh, and no longer in Christ, but at uh, a rehabilitation facility in Hinsdale. Uh, this is uh, this was dated uh, the the the, 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 the twelfth. Was she's having a good day tonight? The nurses think she is definitely waking up slowly, and is probably going to retire from being in the chair for two hours today. And with the uh, PT afterwards, she responded a couple times uh, on command with a thumb up and a wiggle of her toes tonight. No fevers at all today. They are thinking of turning off the pressure support tomorrow because she did so good today, only giving her oxygen through the vent. And then the next message was having a good day night and there's just things that she is definitely waking up slowly and is probably very tired from being in that chair for two hours and uh, I think it's a repeat of the same message sorry about that okay so as we continue to remember her in our prayers Let us pray. Hear, O oh Lord, our prayers, that this most holy exchange by which you have redeemed us may bring your help in this present age and assure us of eternal glory and happiness to Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And your spirit. May I not ask the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace of Christ. Amen. Then I will sing verse 2 of Hallelujah, sing to Jesus. Shall our hearts forget? 